And this funky store is called Super Potato. And this is where there's all these old retro game consoles and that. And Tally's playing some game right now. Are you winning? No, you're not winning. <laughs> and there's like three floors of stuff. And each floor has different like consoles on it. So it's Nintendo 64, maybe? Let's look at Game Boy games in boxes. We found a Street Fighter game thing. It's got the cool old buttons. You can play if you want to as well. I can? Oh. No, don't worry, I don't want to. We just died playing Metal Slug. That was fun though. This area is awesome. It's like a retro game cafe thing up here. Now we're about to play this really cool old retro Pong thingy. Hey, Juan. Sally won. I was trying to film and play. Some weird tennis game, but I won. I won. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this off just off the main street is the um, Akihabara Gacha Hall. Yeah. And I think it's the biggest Gacha one Hall in the city, I think. Apparently there's over 400. I think we could film in there, so we're just going to check, check it out. We got takoyaki for lunch. I love takoyaki. Hopefully it's good. Also, we got a ton of gachas, which we'll show you guys later. So basically, they're just like dough with like octopus in it and dried fish flakes, bonito flakes on it with some sort of awesome sauce. And they're normally hot and delicious. Some sort of matcha donut croissant thingy. Mm. We're back at our hotel now. We just went to Uniqlo where we did some damage. And let me tell you the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So we went through um, self checkout at Uniqlo. And we were like expecting to, you know, scan everything, put it in the bag, you know, like normal self-checkout. But we put the basket in like the special basket holding area and it automatically scans the basket and just punches it all into the machine. So we did nothing. It was like so quick. It took like two seconds. It's amazing. Every self-checkout in the world should be like that. That was awesome. And now we are back at the hotel and we're just, you know, dropping everything off and we're actually about to head out to go see baseball. We're here to see the Giants, the good ones, um, the Yomiuri Giants, so the team from Tokyo, and we're going to actually do a separate video on that whole like experience and stuff, so if you want to see that, there'll be um, links and things somewhere on the screen, but otherwise, you know, the uh, Tokyo vlogs will continue as normal. Okay, we went a little gacha crazy today. This isn't even all the gachas we have, guys. We are like totally obsessed with these. So we got a little rice cooker. This is mine. It feels so cute. I don't know why. I just am very drawn to it. And we got Kirby cooking curry. We have this little birdie. Thanks. Keith was really trying to get another one off. So we have um, we have two of them actually. <laughs> we have this funny cat inside a cat costume. It's kind of hard to see this one, but it's um. It's like a sumo guy made out of bread and he's cooking on a grill. This one's also kind of hard to see but it's a little duck wearing Japanese clothes and he has a little funny hat. And then we also were trying to get a particular one of these. That's why we have two. But there's this series of, um, it's like an office lady. I forgot her actual name. Put it on the screen. But this, this is like one of the main reasons why Gacha is so famous because Basically, they came out with this thing of this woman who hangs off stuff, and they got super popular, and now they're like a cult thing to collect, I guess. And so this is her hanging off, like, I guess a cup, because she's all wet. 
Or her hanging upside down on the phone. The one we really wanted was of her washing her face. Which I know sounds weird, but it looked funky and cool and I liked it. Okay, we're starting our day here at Harajuku. And our first stop right off the train station is Takashita Street. I think I said that incredibly wrong. But it's meant to like some sort of famous street, right? Yeah, go shopping. Ah, shopping street. Let's go down there then. It's incredibly busy down here. So while I've been here, I've been obsessed with B-Side -Li -Like label stickers. And we found the store here in Harajuku and might end up spending a lot of money in here because there's a lot of stickers. We just spent a lot of money on stickers in there. Whoops, they were cool though. They gave us a free one. Yeah, we got a free mystery one. And Keith picked the sexy lady lifting her shirt up. This is where we're going to try and get lunch. It's a okonomiyaki place, which is like a fried noodles and things. There's turtles outside. Look. Look at Keith's fun drink. But you have to assemble yourself. This is our Okinamiyaki table. It's really hot. And the towel that they give you in restaurants here, instead of being a warm one, it's a cold one. It was frozen. Is it like cooked? I think it's cooking. I have no idea. What am I supposed to do? Okay, I think we kind of figured out what you're doing. I think you just eat. This one that we demolished here was uh, okinamiyaki. So that's it's a mixed like vegetables and meats, depending on what topping you want. So ours, the one we got was squid and shrimp. And then over here is a modern yaki, and that has noodles in it. So you could pick between noodles or udon or something else. And we got pork and green onion. Is it good? <laughs> and this is the entrance to Yogi Park. Um, it's on the Harajuku station end of it. And we're about to go walk through there. And in there is Meiji Shrine. And we're going to go check that out. And we're going to go from here, walk with her through and try to get to Shinjuku. Before we go into the park, there's a little ice cream stand. And it has this special green tea ice cream. It says number one. Number one. And I love green tea flavored anything. So there's this Meiji Jingu Inner Garden. You have to pay for the maintenance in here. So you have to pay a 500 yen to get in here. It looks pretty cool down here. I think it'll be worth entering. Mm. Sally's making a wish. Will you write it inside? Yeah. And Sally's putting her wish in. We've got these little poemy things they at the were shrine. They were written by the emperor or the empress. This is mine. Something to do with gems being clear. And then this one's got something to do with the purity of your emotions and stuff. Now we're trying to make our way to Shinjuku Station. And near the park is Yogi Station. And it's just like one stop away to Shinjuku. Look at that cool building up there. Believe it or not, this is Shinjuku Station. It is probably the busiest train station in the world. I think I said there's 3.6 million people coming to it daily and there's over 200 exits in here and we have no idea where we're going. We still got pushed down this area. There's like four department stores in here and I, I don't know where we're going. We're just walking around but there seems to be some sort of produce section. <gasps> A map that's in Japanese kind of. Let's just keep walking. 
It's a 14 floor department store here. Okay. Okay, so we're just taking a break up on the roof of one of the buildings at Shinjuku Station. Um, it's not really a view because it's all blocked off, but it's like a nice outside area you can sit. There's a cafe and stuff. We're both really tired and we're trying to figure out what to actually do here and stuff. Okay, we've been looking around the Shotobashi. It's a massive one at Shinjuku for this um, gacha hole, and I think we found it. 500. <gasps> there is 500, see? 500. There's a big toy thing and there's a big game section next door. So we finally found it. Oh, so much gacha in here. And it's not as busy as the other one. I don't know what this one is, it's some weird platoon thing. And I thought I'd just risk it and see what it is. We do like Splatoon though. Love it. Love Splatoon though. Is it a rubber? <laughs> oh really? Oh, it's like some weird eraser thingy. Oh, lame. It's pretty lame actually. The picture's really hard to tell what it is. I bet it says the interface. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. That's fun. Okay, so we're both exhausted and we spent ages walking around Shinjuku trying to find food and just checking it out. It's really busy around here. I don't think it's quite my area. It's a bit too light and busy and the food place is sort of hard to find what would be good. So we just walked in this little place. It just seemed really easy to order the food. Um, just got some fried pork cutlet and seafood and rice. Nothing amazing, but it's food, we're hungry, and it'll do. Time to brave Shinjuku Station again. Tried a different entrance. I think we're getting a bit closer. This place is really confusing and really busy. Like I said, there was 200 entrances here. Yes, we found where we needed to go to. It is a very busy-looking train. Ugh. A long train ride. 